Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and the Disney Bartender! Welcome back everybody to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I'm going through every single Disney movie and making a cocktail inspired by it. And I'm really excited for today because we are making the blue bonnet inspired by Make My Music. So I'm really excited to be doing Make My Music today. I have never seen this movie before doing the research for this. And honestly, there were a lot of parts that were not great to me, but there were a lot of parts that were very cute and very well animated. So I really enjoyed, obviously, Blue Bonnet. As you can probably tell, Johnny Fedora and Alice Blue Bonnet was my favorite of the uh, film segments. I also like the Martin and the Coys. So this is inspired by both the Martin and the Coys as well as Johnny Fedora and Alice Blue Bonnet. But there was so much to kind of unpack here. A lot of the films were blue, um, like Blue Bayou, and there's just like a lot of blue hues throughout the film. So that's why this drink is blue. Also because obviously Alice Blue Bonnet, but <laughs> I'm really excited for this and I hope that you guys enjoy. So without further ado, I guess let's talk about the movie. Quick disclaimer, I am a Disney cast member, so I want to say that these recipes were created by me in my own timing, and before I was a cast member, I had many of these recipes already written down. I do not speak for or represent the Walt Disney Company or any of its productions or parks. I solely am doing this just for fun, and I am only taking inspiration from the movies and creating these recipes 100% by myself. Anyway, let's <laughs> dive in. So, Make My Music was released in 1946, it was one of several package films, which honestly, I don't think I had ever seen a package film before last year when I watched The Adventures, the Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad for the first time. And this year I watched The Three Caballeros for this. Oh, actually I did see Saludos Amigos a long, long time ago and it's the reason I didn't make a co cocktail this time around because Saludos Amigos and Three Caballeros are so similar. They have a lot of the same characters. So maybe at the end I'll go back and do it for Saludos Amigos, but right now we're skipping that one completely. But I had never I've seen a lot of the package films and they're all very interesting so far. I'm very excited for Melody Time and Fun and Fancy Free. Fun and Fancy Free and The Adventures of Big Water Mr. Toad I feel like are the ones that get talked about the most. So I'm really excited for those. But anyway, I'm kind of just jumping all out of place. So Make My Music was directed by Jack Kinney, Clyde Jeronimi, Hamilton Lusk, Joshua Midor, and Robert Cormack. The story was by James Baudrero, Homer Brightman, Erwin Graham, Eric Gurney, T. He, Sylvia Holland, Dick Hume, Dick Kelsey, Jesse Marsh, Tom Oreb, Kat Palmer, Erdman Penner, Dick Shaw, Harry Reeves, John Walbridge, Roy Williams. And these are a lot of names that we've heard before for the past several Disney films that we've done together, but uh, I think things will be changing in the 50s. This is produced by Walt Disney and released August 15th, 1946 with a budget of 1.35 million. And over the years, it's accumulated a box office of 3.275 million. These package films, um, sometimes it wasn't released all together as Make My Music. A lot of the segments were released individually. So yeah, I, get, I feel like it's hard for them to keep track of how much they've made off of these. Okay, so um, like all of the package films, essentially, what was happening right now with the Walt Disney Company was that World War II was raging on while this was being made. And a lot of the animators were drafted into the war and the ones who weren't drafted into the war were being recruited by the US government to make propaganda films at this time. So package films were important because they were low budget and a lot of the like scraps basically for what they were going to create for full length animator feature films <laughs> they used as segments for these package films, which is what happened with Make My Music. And actually a lot of these segments, well, not a lot of them, I should just say Blue Bayou was gonna be used in Fantasia originally and it got scrapped. So it got sent over to Make My Music in the future, which is kind of cool to be recycling this footage that never got to be seen. Um, this is the third package film following Saludos Amigos and Three Caballeros. <laughs> one of the, there's not a lot, a lot of fun facts for this movie, I'll just say, because I feel like this is like one of the forgotten Disney animated feature films. but. One of the facts that I noticed while I was doing research for this was this is the second time David Lichin, I hope I'm saying that correctly, and Tatiana Ryaboshinska, I hope I'm saying that correctly as well, worked in a Disney film together because they actually served as the reference models for the hippo and the alligator ballet dancers in Fantasia. So it's so cool that they got to be ballet dancers for Make Mine Music as well. And they're actually husband and wife in real life, which is really cool. This is also the first Disney animated feature film released after World War II. So yeah, that's Make Mine Music. 
music. I This is the first time I ever realized that this is where Casey's Corner came from. I had literally no idea. And so I was shooketh when that segment came onto the screen, but it was really cute. I was tempted to make a drink inspired by that, but I felt like all of my ideas would have been too close to my Dumbo cocktail inspired by the circus. So this is what we ended up working with. So today, <laughs> these are the ingredients you're gonna need for your cocktail. This is actually a very, very simple cocktail. And a lot of these ingredients you might have in your home already. So I like this recipe because it's delicious and very easy to make. And hopefully if you have the ingredients at home, then it'll be cheap as well. <laughs> but you are going to need moonshine. I have um, midnight moon moonshine and we'll be talking about moonshine in a second. You're going to need some ginger beer, any kind will do. Lemonade, I love Simply Lemonade. As you can tell, I had a thing in the fridge already. Blueberries, <laughs> and then you're going to need some strawberry wafers, which you can use any brand, but this is the brand Columbina. It has nothing to do with any Colombian rest like uh, ingredients. It just simply was the one that I found at Publix. <laughs> and Twizzlers, and then some icing. So you might see a similar kind of theme here to Fantasia, but yeah, let's talk about moonshine. So I wanted to use moonshine after the Martins and the McCoys, or not the McCoys, Martins and the Coys, because they obviously are like inspired by like Southern, I know it's not proper to say anymore, but like hillbilly and like like kind of the, the Southern parts of the United States, which obviously is moonshine. <laughs> so I was really inspired to use moonshine. I've never made a cocktail with moonshine before, so this is a first for me, and I'm really excited. But moonshine is made from corn, and the name moonshine actually comes from the fact that moonshine has been illegal for a long, long, long time, and so moonshine was made at night to, like, avoid feds. <laughs> so that's why it's called moonshine. And this company, Midnight Moon Moonshine, is actually made by Junior Johnson's family, who was a NASCAR racer back in, like, the 70s, 80s, I want to say, if I'm not mistaken correctly wrong. So Junior Johnson's family makes this and it was made after um, his family's recipe. So pretty cool. I got this very small bottle because I'll be honest, I don't know if I will ever use moonshine in this house again. The only time I've ever really drinking moonshine is when we go to Chef Arts and this homecoming. So I don't know how often we're going to use this. But anyway, let's Go ahead and jump into making the cocktail. All right, so first off, what you're going to need is a glass, and you're also gonna need a muddler. If you don't have a muddler, you could use like a spoon or the back of like a spatula. Literally anything will do. And your blueberries. I just realized I haven't washed these, so let me go wash them real quick. So usually like I build all my recipes in a shaker because I like to shake my recipes. I love shaking cocktails. I think it adds a nice touch to it, but this one, I specifically want the blueberries to like settle on the bottom so that's kind of my reasoning for building it in the glass as I don't think I'm gonna want to shake this and also once we add the ginger beer since it is carbonated we can't shake it anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna add like a hefty amount of blueberries to the bottom like a good handful because I really want the blue to come out and honestly if it's not enough I'm gonna go back and add some more and I'm gonna go crazy muddling these bad boys I'm excited to use blueberries I know it's gonna come out a little more like purple than I'm hoping for, but I think the blueberries are better than using blue curacao in moonshine. I don't think that would be the most pleasant of experiments, so I think the blueberries will come out better. Okay, once you've got your blueberries muddled, I'm gonna go ahead and add um, my ice. I'm gonna fill it probably about like three quarters full. All right, I have got my ice and my muddled blueberries and next we are going to add our moonshine. This particular moonshine I have is apple pie flavored. It was the only one that they had at the liquor store so I'm rolling with it. But I think it'll be good because it's gonna add some apple taste and also some cinnamon taste. Also, if you can hear that, I dropped a piece of ice and Nala's munching on it in the background so I apologize. But I think the apple pie flavor is gonna work really nicely with this and also add like another hint of that like American flavor that I'm trying to get. Moonshine is very strong so I advise you to be cautious with this. I think for mine I'm just gonna add an ounce. Standard for a cocktail is about an ounce and a half to two ounces so I'm, I'm keeping this one light let's just say but if you are braver than me feel free to add some more. Woo! The first time I ever drank moonshine was at a party, a wedding, I should say. It wasn't a party with my family when I was younger, like 16 or 17. I just had a sip of it just to taste it. And it literally tasted like I was swallowing nail polish remover. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next is lemonade. I'm not even gonna measure this out. It's just gonna be like the majority of my glass is gonna be lemonade. And I'm gonna hope some of the blue starts coming through from the blueberries. If not, we're gonna have to add some blue here. So. Oh, it's starting to come through. And then simply, I'm going to top off my lemonade here with some ginger beer. I'm not the biggest ginger beer girl fan, so add as much or as little as you like. I just think the ginger is gonna complement the apple pie flavoring from the moonshine very well. So that is what I am doing. Then I'm going to be making our garnishes. While I'm making the garnishes, I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. So hopefully the blueberries will start to work their way through and turn this slightly bluer. I don't know, I think I might have to add some blue curacao to make this blue. I do like the blueberries sitting at the bottom though. I think it, it looks very nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use the Twizzlers to make the bow from Alice Blue Bonnet's body. It's not really her hat, it's her body. And I think I'm gonna have to break this Twizzler open because it's a thick Twizzler. This is not like a normal Twizzler. Oh, this is called a pool and peel Twizzler. Okay, so now it's a little bit thinner. So let's see how I can do this. I'm not a pretzel maker. I don't know how to make bows like this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I made that a lot harder than it was supposed to be. So flat and you just go up with both sides and fold them over in the middle and make the little bow. Cute! And then I'm probably gonna use like a little toothpick to hold it together or if you want, you can just set it in the glass like this. Actually, I think I may just set it in the glass like that. Then with our wafers, we are going to take one out. And very much like my Fantasia video, we are going to take the black icing and we are going to draw some music notes on it. So this is obviously to incorporate all of Make My Music into it. I'm just adding some music notes because I feel like that's the best way to show that this is my Make My Music cocktail and I think it looks really cute. Obviously, if you're just making this drink at home, you don't have to do this, but I think it adds a really cute touch and uh, makes it a little more special and more unique. I am going horizontally, but you can also go vertically if you prefer, um, however you wanna stick it in your cup. I obviously don't want my wafer to get soaked if I wanna eat it, so my plan is to stick it on sideways so that I can eat it afterwards. Oh no, it was all perfect except for my last one. I feel like I have to do another one real quick. And ta-da! So cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the top horizontally and lay my little bow in front of it. Ah, I love it! It's so cute. Now I'm just trying to decide how blue I want it because if I want it extra blue, oh, there we go. If I want it extra blue, I'm gonna have to add some blue curacao. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Ugh, I'm so tempted to add blue curacao because it's gonna make it extra blue. I am the chaos. <laughs> okay, hopefully this tastes good. Mmm. Okay, the blue carousel actually works really nice in this. The orange kind of like complements the ginger and the like cinnamony taste from the apple pie and the moonshine. So this is perfect. I'm so happy with it. And now I've just got to take some pictures and some videos before I wrap it up. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make the Blue Bonnet cocktail inspired by Make Mine Music. This might be one of my favorite drinks that I've made so far. Like, I'm trying not to mess it up, but that is so good and I don't even like ginger beer. That is delicious. So I'm really happy with this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching as well. You kind of got to see the process of how I think of these cocktails too, because when the blueberry situation did not work out, Blue Curacao was my next hope. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you're excited for Melody Time, which will be coming probably in August or September. Can't wait to share with you guys. And oh, I have so many more fun ones planned for the rest of this year. And I just can't wait to share with you guys my Cinderella cocktail. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe so you can see the rest of these videos as well as other things happening in Disney and Orlando. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.